Hello there. We are back in Aldia's Keep, looking for a uh, way into uh, one of the doors. And I don't know if we can even open it with a key. Because we never got any. That's what I think we're supposed to do. And uh, that has happened a few times already. Uh, one time I didn't actually capture the footage. Um, sometimes you have to get a monster close to a breakable wall and then have it break it down for you. So now I'm first oops, clearing out these hippos and other vermin before I get to the last one that uh, hopefully will uh, be our door opener. Of course now that this area is actually lit it makes uh, things a lot easier. <laughs> Quite sure he can actually hit me through the cage. Better be safe than sorry. Hmm. Maybe I could snipe him? Yeah. And now for you. <sighs> These guys are still terrifying. <laughs> I die even before his animation is finished. <laughs> That's how strong he is. Okay. One more time then. Three times the charm. The problem with these guys is that the time window they uh, allow you to notice their attacks is very slim. So, don't get hit by that if at all possible. There we go. Also, I've uh, looked around on the wikis a little bit. Um, you know my policy on Dark Souls and the lore and stuff. Um, I don't think it's inherently a bad idea because the developers, I think, are encouraging to uh, encur encouraging the players to uh, look this up and change ideas and stuff and what I found out is that Aldia even though I've never seen any kind of item description that would allude to it right now might be Vendrick's brother which is very strange and people don't seem to be convinced if Aldia is even in the game or um 
At least the opinions differ. Holy shit. Uh, some say Duke Seldora is Aldia. But maybe Aldia is his first name and Seldora is second name or some other designation. Which would make sense, I guess, if you see it like that. It would also make sense that... Uh, that... Uh, he create these creatures because he's gone mad. Oh, However, Seldora uh, was very keen on spiders and, and stuff, so who knows if it's really him. Because I would then expect that most of these guys are spiders. i to get out of here. <laughs> and they are clearly not. Okay, now I have to deal with you. But who knows, maybe I get some... Uh, some... Petrified Dragon Bones. Yeah, anyway... Um, another point that argues against them being the same person is just... Simply the fact that the game labels two different locations. Uh, with different names, so why is it Aldia's Keep and Brightstone Cove Soldora and not Aldia's Keep and Brightstone Cove Aldia, or the other way around? Soldora's Keep, whatever. Why do they make this distinction? It's not really that clear. What is clear, however, uh, because it's obviously uh, um, accepted fact by this point is that um, Eldia is in fact Vendrick's brother. Maybe I have, haven't found the uh, um, maybe I haven't found the corresponding uh, item yet that confirms it. You know, an item that clearly states that in the item description. Who knows? Anyway, um, let's clear these. If I can fucking hit them. <laughs> oh well, too late. Okay. Clear a path for me. One more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. Malformed skull. Is that uh, the corresponding thing to the malformed skull I got in uh, what was it called? In Sinner's Rise. Whoa! Apparently it isn't. I was thinking it might be a, uh, a shield. From skull. When the malformed weapons about Vin Albia swung like a great heart, blah blah blah. The peculiar figure known as Lord Aldia attempted to uncover the secrets of life itself and viewed the undead as a key to his mystery. Viewed the undead as a key to this mystery. Huh. <sighs> okay. So, this is what he came up with? Are these uh, all failed experiments? Hmm. Let's contemplatively feather out of here. And the next step in our uh, journey here... We haven't seen this uh, place in a long time. Forest of Foreign Giants. Oh hey, these salamanders uh, are respawning. Didn't know that? Yeah, because um, there are a few more secrets to unravel. Second King's door. Ring required, as always. Also, I have to make a confession here a little bit. 
<laughs> um, I went here for the very first time, right after I got the King's Reign. Um, and I didn't get very far. Which you'll see why in a bit. There's a bonfire here already lit. Uh, the Place Unbeknownst is the name. We have another giant statue here, or giant tree. But I did here, there are a few loose items, I got all of them. And once you just jump down here, there's nothing much left. Like I said, a few more items. This is, by the way, uh, where these soldiers jump down from when you try and get the fire sword. They jump down from here and uh, ambush you. Problem is that after that, there's nothing much more to see. So I went back up all the way. Kill these two. Fairly easy. If you don't miss. Let to go back. Take a shortcut here. Back up. Up the ladder. Go over here again down this ladder over the bridge through the door through the king's gate wait for it to open again <laughs> and then I thought, yeah, well, if I'm here, what they want me to do is probably to jump down and to the left into this hole there. But no. I kept trying and trying, but here's what you actually want to do. I tried this like four or five times though. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the memory of Jay. The Ashen Mist Heart that uh, allows us to go through um, and into the memories of the giants. Let's see what happened all these years ago in the giant war. We know you guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you hit just as hard as I remember. What the? Okay, he got hurt by the fireball, but... Shit. The other guy just died. Like nothing. now I don't have to go all this way. I can just uh, walk to the bonfire, but right here uh, I have to go check on my rings. It shouldn't take too long. Certainly got enough service for it. I'll be around if you want and let's also uh, Pay a visit to our friend the shopkeeper. 
see if he has something new. You need armor. Hey, Velstadt set. Helm worn by the royal Aegis. Originally imbued with the power of miracles, now soaked with dark after extended exposure in the undead crypt. A knight from a faraway land was lured to this accursed land, but forgot even why he came, eventually reduced to a shadow of his former self. Let's buy that. So what that tells us is uh, that Velstadt was actually still Thanks for the purchase. Do not come hollow again. when we fought him, but he was being consumed by the crypt. So he was a paladin and now turned into kind of a necromancer, I could say. Okay, so, second try. Giant memory, here we go. And yeah, apparently we are on a timer. Maybe I can uh, lure him into the fireballs. Because it seems um, their movement as well as the guys they are fighting are not scripted. Which is good to see. Yeah. Oops. down oh yeah it's, it's because of this uh, this helmet that the other guy was killed uh, he looks dangerous <laughs> okay giant lord which with uh, which what looks like uh, Huge sword that has a shock wave. Interesting. Ouch. Hmm. Okay. Well, once you're close, he's kind of a pushover. <laughs> oh, gotta be careful to avoid the fireball still. Ouch! That's what I just said! Ouch. 
Way too close. Can I do it first? Try. Uh, almost got crushed. Ah! Really have to stay right by his feet. One more! Oh! Time's running out! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, giant, Lord, Soul, whatever. I don't care. I got it. Fire Seed, sure. What else is there? Lesser Foe. Uh, yeah. It kind of was. <laughs> uh, what's this? Uh, okay. Gotta be fast. Shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going back. There must be something else. Okay. That was a refreshing boss battle. The battle itself wasn't very hard, but I guess the way to the boss itself was part of the challenge. Maybe I just got lucky, I don't know. Um, the way is the goal, I guess. Come on. Did they always break shield? Their attacks? Fuck. You know when I was uh, fighting the two, two giants uh, underneath uh, Black Gulch? I guess wielding a shield wouldn't have been possible in the first place. You know, I was kind of... Uh, you know, kind of uh, worried because I had to carry a torch. There was no other way to fight them. I did. So yeah. Back into the memory. I guess you could also use uh, these memories in order to grind souls if you really had to. However, grinding isn't really that much needed anyway. After they uh, revamped the uh, crafting system. Earlier, for example, if you wanted to get a boss weapon, you wouldn't just have to expand the souls, but also... Um, Also, you would have had to have a fully, um, a fully upgraded, for example, greatsword if you wanted to get a particularly uh, awesome greatsword, which was a boss weapon. You need to have that, the boss soul, and uh, of course also a, a smith that can do it with the amber. Or were ambers necessary? I don't remember. But anyway, now that that was thrown out, grinding isn't so important anymore. So what's this here? Huh. Haha! <laughs> Soul of a giant. Same thing I got from the two huge giants. And looks like we can't go there. So now I guess... Uh, Explored everything, I guess. 
Yep, that's it. Let's enjoy the scenery while it still burns. <laughs> um, and wait for a timer to run out. Get a soul from him? No. I guess the guy uh, who lay there is Jay, the giant whose memory we're just uh, going through. Pretty cool, I guess. This memory hopping uh, is uh, an idea they adopted from the Artorias of the Abyss DLC for Dark Souls 1. Oh, yeah, we can also feather out of here. So uh, next time we'll go to the memories of all the other giants. Stay tuned.